This week, I don't know exactly what Jimmy has planned because he did most of the prep work for this whole trip. The only thing I do really know is that we are just outside of White Sands National Park in southwestern New Mexico. So we're about to leave our campsite where we've been for the last couple of days. We're a little sad to leave, but we might be back in the future, who knows. Today's first step of Jimmy's all-inclusive White Sands National Monument tour is we need to stop by the visitor center and pick up a park pass. It's either white sand or possibly even snow on the ground outside. She's been saying that for the past five straight days. Every time we drive by anything slightly white, she says, oh, is that snow? Natalie, we're driving towards white sands. I think it's mostly white sand. The bus had a hard enough time getting to this point. I don't think it could handle any snow right now. If they ever had snow like that in South Carolina, they would seriously shut the whole state down. Like school gets canceled, all the roads are closed off. It's absolute madness. So I just heard you mention the fee station. Is that where we buy like the National Park Pass? Okay, cool. There you go. Nice. Amazing. $45. Really? So, Jimmy's expertly planned day is already going well. The visitor center does not sell the passes we need, so we actually need to get on the dunes drive and we'll pass a fee station. Probably should have known that. Hi. Hey, how are you? So I've known Natalie way too long to know what she wants to do when we first get to a park, and that is eat lunch. So that is our first stop of today. White Sands National Park has these beautiful picnic table enclosures and a huge field in which you can eat at and look onto the bright white sands. So we're gonna try to make something a little special today and enjoy the scenery. I've got the map with me and the next thing we're gonna go do is we need to go find a walking trail because there's five or six uh, walking trails including a boardwalk and an amphitheater so there's a ton of stuff to do here so I'm gonna let Natalie choose what sounds like the best to her and let her decide there is something later today at 4 p.m. that we need to make it to Natalie doesn't know what it is yet but so that's why we're a little crunch for time I'm gonna let Natalie pick out her favorite sounding hike we're gonna go do that and Maybe one or two other things after that. So where are we? We so, came in here. Yeah, came all the way up here and we're at the first picnic table here right at the base of the circle. Okay, well, let me look. Let me look at my options here. <laughs> the backcountry camping, like I got really yeah. excited when I saw that, but apparently it's closed. What's the longest one? It looks like that one, the, the alkali, oh gosh, alkali? Alkali? Al that's probably <laughs> it. <laughs> Roadrunner picnic area. Is that where we are? I think that's where we're at, actually. There's no roadrunners here. It's really here. big, yeah. Horse area. I think you have to bring your own horses. Well, we don't I, have... Yeah, I looked that up. I wish they did, like, horse or mule rides, but they don't. I think you have to bring your own. Dang. About to get a bigger bus for that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's do that. Let's do the al alkali. I think we picked out a good trail. Neither of us know how to pronounce it, but it looks like the best one. 
and I think it'll give us a really good view of some of the mountains around here. <laughs> what? How else do you pack so much stuff in one day? It's caffeine. Also, I don't drink coffee, so this is this is my take. Mm. Um, I know it's still not the healthiest for you, but uh, this diet. No, it's healthy. It's a health food. Yeah. Also, all our cups are dirty, and I don't want to wash them, so that's why. I swear, <laughs> I don't do this normally. It's just I need the caffeine. It's right here. Natalie doesn't mind. That's how we live in the bus. That's what they mean when they say bus life is not all just roses and sunsets. This is the this is the hard life. It's diet cola with no cup. Real nitty gritty. <laughs> to be real, we did run out of propane very unexpectedly this morning, and so we weren't able to make coffee. And we also our pipes froze overnight, so we couldn't wash dishes. We're really roughing it out here today. Oh, all right. Let's go see some sand. So we're at the trailhead and we just had to park next to the other two schoolies we saw in the parking lot. I love the Western states. Out in South Carolina, it took us two months to find our very first schoolie, but now it just feels like we see one every other day. Schoolie Palooza is gonna be so much fun. It is really bright out here. That's one thing about pure white sand is how reflective it is. Jeez. Where even is the trailhead? <laughs> this is just one giant parking lot. While we were driving up here, we saw a bunch of signs saying that you gotta make sure that you know where you've gone. The wind will blow away footprints, which makes a lot of sense. So uh, I don't really know how a trailhead works out here, but I'm sure they've got it figured out. Yeah, because we've never got lost on a trailhead before. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much like every time. <laughs> Get lost. Wow, that's pretty spooky. Mm -hmm. So this is a five mile loop. Really? Yeah. Three hours. Okay. So I don't know if we can do that because we're not going to make our four o'clock. What time is it right now? It is 2.52. Yeah. So we have an hour. I mean, if we could run. Yeah, we could. Yeah. And don't get lost. Well, let's start out down it and we'll just turn around, I guess. That sounds good. a good ampersand. Thank you. My goodness. I'll make it fancy for you. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Jimmy, you're like a sand calligrapher. That looks so good. Why, why can you do that so well? Practice. <laughs> Did I spell your name right? <laughs> you would be in big trouble if you didn't know how to spell my name by now. Look at that, that's cute. Oh, what, what's that over there? Oh, wow, what the heck? How did that get there? Are we lost? <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> I still see footprints, so I think we're okay. I'm just trying to check because we just talked to someone and they told me that the four o'clock thing I was hiding for Natalie for a surprise um, is closed today and they're, they only do it on Saturdays. So I'm trying to double check that now, but I don't see anything about it on the map they gave us. It is so pretty out here. It looks like we're at a ski resort and it kind of feels that way too because of how cold it is. But there are a lot of signs saying like, you need to take water. There's no alcohol allowed here during the summer months. And I think that's because it gets really, really hot for most of the year. And the whole loop around here is like eight or nine miles. So if you come out here with no water, you could really kind of get yourself in a bad situation. Thankfully, we have about 95 gallons of it, so I think we'll be okay. It looks like you're walking across like a desktop wallpaper for a computer. Yeah, I almost hate putting footprints on the nice sand, but they're everywhere. Yeah, it's so pristine. Uh, I just wanna... <sighs> wow. It's a smiley face if you guys can't see it. He's not supposed to be in pain. Is it bad that this is like my first time in a desert like this and uh, it's like crazy sand and dunes everywhere. And all I can think of is the book, The Alchemist. Jimmy and I read it last year and so that's the first thing that comes to my mind whenever I am surrounded by desert sand like this. So in case we haven't explained it, here at the White Sands National Park, they do allow walking pretty much all off path. So if you see a soft trail and climbing up dunes, 
They do allow it here, as long as it's not on dunes with vegetation, but all of the dunes are fair game and they even encourage it. I can't believe this is Earth. I feel like we need to just take a minute to appreciate the fact that it's not super windy today because a lot of the days we've been in New Mexico has, have had crazy, crazy wind. And in a place filled with sand, I imagine that could be pretty unpleasant. Ooh, bird. I don't know how well it comes across on the camera, but the sun hitting the sand almost makes it sparkle. And that really just adds to the optical illusion that this is all a bunch of snow. I feel like I could make a snowman or hit Jimmy with a snowball, but it's just sand. I don't want to throw sand at Jimmy. I'm glad I'm to the point where she's okay with throwing snow at me, but not sand. <laughs> I feel like I'm moving up in the world. I've never thrown sand at him, I promise. Not yet. Not yet. You've never been surrounded with this much sand. It's tempting. It's too tempting for Natalie. <laughs> So Natalie's mentioned snow enough times that she's unlocked the next part of today's plan, which is sand sledding. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God, okay. So unfortunately, we don't have enough time to go back to the visitor center and purchase one of the sleds that they sell there, but I think we can find something in the bus that we can use as our own personal sled. You All up for right. that? Uh, yeah, I'm up for anything. <laughs> So big surprise, we got a little turned around and uh, we're trying to find our way back. And we're trying to figure out how to get down this cliff that we seem to found ourselves on top of. Jimmy seems to think that we can walk down it. You first. Here goes nothing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I changed my mind. You're already halfway there. Now it's my turn. Oh my gosh, my shoes are completely under the sand right now. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm snowboarding. <laughs> there is so much sand in my <laughs> shoes right now. I think there's gotta be at least one pound on each shoe. It's, it's definitely heavier than normal. <laughs> Natalie was smart. She brought big leather boots out here. I should have brought my leather boots. <laughs> Dude, Jimmy, I think that's the lake. I read it on the pamphlet that there's a lake here. That looks like a dried up lake to me. I'm glad we have someone here that'll read the pamphlets. It's a lake. I'm water skiing. <laughs> this is so weird. It's really crunchy. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's already so much sand in here. I'm about to add to it too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like half the dune right there. Oh my gosh. Uh, they wow. say don't collect the sand, Jimmy. I'm trying not to, I promise. <laughs> I don't have to put grocery bags on your feet when we go back out. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we might have figured out what would be the best sled alternative we have. We're just gonna use a laundry basket. As long as we don't break it, I think we should be fine. Okay, I think we've reached our final destination. <laughs> Hopefully not in life. No, <laughs> just today. Are you ready for some bootleg sledding? So should I test it out first in case it's dangerous? Um, then I gotta carry you back to the bus. Yes. I guess so. I can pull you in the sled. All right, I'll go first. <laughs> okay. Such a gentleman. <laughs> wow, what a sacrifice he's making. <laughs> he's scrambling to go make it. I mean, it's probably less. It probably costs less to a, less than a sled to replace a laundry basket. True. Wee. <laughs> 
Maybe you have to lean back. Uh, trying. I thought for sure that would work. All right, what if I stand in it? Jimmy. Then I can lean back in it more. Oh my gosh, that's gonna trap your feet from catching yourself. <laughs> this is so difficult. I feel like the holes are our downfall. All right, this is the money shot. Uh, all right. If I just sit in the back of it. Wow, that is like way more anticlimactic than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> All right, it's a little bit more steep over there. Maybe we try it over there. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's so good at not sliding, I can use it to climb the mountain. Prime, right? You got this. All right, it's the Jimmy action cam. Oh, let's see if I can do this. Oh my, I'm worried that's gonna flip. <laughs> Look at this avalanche I'm making. I'm starting to think this is why sleds don't have giant walls. Wow, this is really bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, you can make a sand angel. <laughs> All right, it's your turn. You think you can handle the slopes? Not with uh, that equipment. You were definitely gonna hurt yourself. All right, your turn. You gotta do it at least once. Okay, I might have to take off my coat. One crucial thing that you need to bring if you're visiting White Sands is a portable coat rack. All right. Should I go around to go up or? Whatever's easier. Oh man. <laughs> it's like a treadmill that goes up. That's a Stairmaster, that's what that's called. I'm ready to see you shred some sand. You're doing better than I did. This work. <laughs> that was fun, but not for the reasons you'd expect. So would you do it again? If I had to climb up there again, sure. <laughs> I think I'm ready. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> He's <We did> fired. <laughs> he almost made it all the way down. One thing about national parks is that they do not allow drones here. You cannot fly them, lift off, or operate them within the park boundaries. But what they don't have rules against is a determined couple with a really long tripod. We're gonna get you those drone shots. Even if it kills us. Welcome YouTube. So the last thing I had planned for Natalie was a 4 p.m. sunset stroll held by the rangers here at the park. It didn't quite work out today. We were a little too busy doing the sled in and our drone footage. But as you can see, the sunset is right behind me. So I don't think we need a ranger guided tour for this. I think we can have our own little cute little sunset tour right here by ourselves. So it's getting much colder as the sun is setting, but it is beautiful out here. There's a lot of people, even though it's a Monday night, and I think that's probably because the weather could not be any better for being out here. I think most of the year it's super hot. Sometimes it's just really, really windy, but this is just the perfect mild, although a little cold weather. So I can definitely see why people wanna be here. It's also really overcast, which makes it great for photos because the light isn't super harsh from the sun and there are a ton of people out here with very nice cameras. So I think this is probably one of the top spots in New Mexico for photography. Are you ready to disrespect it with our amateur photography skills? <laughs> we're doing our best to pay tribute, but. Yeah, we're trying guys. <laughs> is this where we shamelessly plug our Instagram? <laughs> I 
I don't know what he's doing. I don't have a clue. That doesn't look very good. What is it? Oh, that is the worst sand heart I've ever made. It is so lopsided. How many sand hearts have you made and for how many women? One and one, and <laughs> they've all been terrible. I'm still honored. Oh, that's not bad. I could do better. In drawing hearts or in choices of people to draw hearts for? <laughs> oh, side. Oh, that is so bad too. No, that's cute. a line in the sky where it goes from light over here to uh, dark over there. I tried to convince him to pull me back to the bus in that thing. He wasn't having it. We are never going to get this sand completely out of our bus. It's all over. <laughs> it looks like somebody dumped baby powder. Oh my gosh. I was doing good because my shoes are leather until we went and slid down that hill in the <laughs> laundry basket. There's tons of sand in my shoes now. It just, it went in through the top. So I would have been fine if I hadn't goofed around. It was worth it though. So White Sands is beautiful. It's crazy to me how much it looks like snow. We didn't exactly use a sled and we didn't exactly do the official sunset hike, but I think we definitely captured the spirit of all the activities we wanted to get done while we were here. But it's getting cold and it's getting dark and the park closes in a little bit. I guess it's back to the road for us. We'll pick you guys up in Arizona. You look like the first man to walk on the moon. 